this is a tough thing to talk about. We do have to recognize all of our shared humanity. We have to recognize those trans kids, those trans adults in our society. We do have to see them. And although we've given messages to the members of that community tonight, I would also give a message to the parents with kids who might be going through that or thinking about going through that. That we have to value everybody and respect everybody for their value as a human being. Madam Speaker, I served with a man. He honorably served his country. He transitioned. Wasn't always easy, but I valued that humanity. That man served his country and now a woman. But we're talking about our children tonight. And whether we should now sanction as a state what we already find illegal, the illegal harboring of a youth, where we hide children from their parents without really knowing if the parents are good or bad. I agree with my colleagues on both sides. We have to do more for these kids. One of the stated goals of this bill, one that we all should support, is to curb and altogether hopefully stop transgender suicides amongst our kids. But is this the way to do that, to violate the 14th Amendment, the Due Process Clause of the 14th Amendment, parental constitutional rights to shield kids from their parents? Or, Madam Speaker, should we try to wrap our arms around both the family, the parents, and the child to make them whole again so that going forward, years and years down the line, that that child has some semblance of a support structure. Madam Speaker, this is a difficult debate we've had tonight, but I think we've done it well. And I appreciate everything that was said, but I would urge a no vote on this bill. We just can't do this at this point. Thank you.